COVID pandemic as fun. It's been terrible, hasn't it? But could a game actually help us to understand more about the virus? During lockdown, the Welcome Sanger Institute in Cambridge launched a competition asking school students to come up with a board game to help people figure out how our bodies work and how they fight infections. Helen Mulroy has been to meet the winners. If the pandemic's taught us anything, it's that fighting viruses is certainly not child's play. But one group of students from Cambridgeshire have just won a competition doing just that. I draw one. Oh no, I have picked up a virus. The Welcome Sanger Institute is well known for its groundbreaking genomic sequencing of the COVID-19 virus. But recently they joined with the education group Little Inventors and challenged students from across the country to use their research to create a game that would bring cells to life for students. So basically, Human Cell Atlas Project is trying to map all the cell types in your body. So, I mean, you think this is something we know already, but actually we know less than you would imagine about the cell types in your body. We had about 100 entries, but the main thing was to get students involved and learning. And because these students, uh, year seven to nine, they're learning about cells already, they're learning about genes already, and that's really the backbone of what we do. 100 schools entered, and 14-year-olds Tom, Philip and Alistair from Kimbolton School won with their game, Accelerate. So the essential uh, aspect of the game is that you're trying to build a human from different cell cards and cell systems, and you can share information, and you can also get stopped by viruses which will stop you in your tracks. Working together remotely on their winning idea was a highlight of lockdown three for the boys. I think it was really nice over lockdown uh, in the evenings because there wasn't any school clubs or anything. Uh, it was nice to be able to do some more outside of school extracurricular activities and to yeah have an excuse to sort of um, yeah talk, talk with friends about something we're quite passionate about. And despite the challenges it created, there were fortuitous parallels between the pandemic and the very game they were designing. I think it definitely helped us all to understand how viruses affect our bodies and how we how our bodies fight against the viruses, especially as we have white blood cell cards in our game and we also do have the COVID-19 variant in our game as well. It's really relevant at the moment because of COVID and understanding what's happening at the cell level in our bodies. A card game enables students to engage with different types of cells and see how they might work together um, or against each other. Their winning idea is now being made into a real board game. Hundreds of copies will be produced, with every school who entered the competition getting one. The boys hope what they've learnt can accelerate the learning of others in a fun way. Helen Mulroy, BBC Look East. Can I just